Hey, welcome again to this week's Soulful Summer Rhythm Podcast. I'm Gina Hendrickson, and I'm grateful to be with you this week to chill out from the craziness of life that comes our way day in and day out. My work and family can pull on me 24-7 with needs, emergencies, and my own tendency to overfunction and go, 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 right, to support those I love and those I am called to serve in my life and work. What I've learned is that it is very hard for me to chill out when I'm actually not working my job. I'm not good at dialing it back on a day off, right? Vacations are often just slightly slower days with less tasks. I was totally called out by my family regarding this this over-functioning work ethic that was leaving me exhausted and, well, honestly grumpy when I was home and not on the job. One of my BFFs shared with me a practice that she and her family use to help them disconnect from work, responsibilities, stress, and, and what they uh, what she calls life crazies that seem to overtake their scheduled downtimes of family nights and meals or vacations. So she created a stop and drop box. At the start of a meal, game night, or a special event, someone literally stands at the door with the box, and as folk enter the room for a meal, or as they exit the house for a family fun night out, they put in that box anything they knew should not be taken into this special space and time for family. She told me it was so hard at first to get everyone to stop and drop their toys or Game Boys and phones into the box, but eventually they all did it. Even their friends got into their ritual and participated, adding their own items in the box whenever they were over for dinner. She said, you know, stripped of all our tools, toys, and devices, we would truly relax and enjoy each other's company. She said meals together changed. We actually shared about our days and we laughed and and just grew stronger as a family and with our friends. Her kids now have their own stop and drop boxes to make family time this special, loving time set apart for each other and to get out of those life crazies. Now, I love this idea um, as possibly for a new soulful summer rhythm for me and my family. By stopping and dropping our iPhones or tablets, uh, our earbuds and Game Boys in a brightly colored box, we can create a soulful rhythm to disconnect with the crazies and renew loving family relationships. So to intentionally set time to let go of all that may be pulling at our hearts and minds and turn our attention to each other 100%. Wow, how amazing would that be? A special time of sacred connection with with my spouse and kids and, and my grandkids. A full connection with um, with dear friends, uh, with no distractions. What a priceless gift of presence with each other. Now this box, you know, it can be a tool, a resource to let us know it's time to stop and, and drop our worries, to put to bed that project that we've been working on, to release our distractions and, and place in the concerns we may be having and struggling with into that box, like literally trying to let them go for an hour or an evening or, or even maybe an entire day so we can just chill reconnect and enjoy life together so this week i want to challenge you to join with me and let's make our own stop and drop boxes come on we can do this right we can be creative and fun Uh, but i want to call mine a soulful chill box 
This can uh, become a real and tangible reminder to keep finding ways to set aside time to chill out this week or this month, indeed every month for that matter. And we really need to think about what we're going to put away for a while in that box on those special events or occasions, right? I mean, we, we really got to think about that because some things, I dare say, would be pretty obvious. I would want to put in my chill box those things that I don't want to use that would distract me or take me down rabbit holes for work or worry or stress. So for me, my iPhone, <laughs> that's the first thing that goes in that box, let me tell you that. Friends, I'm telling you, a text ping generates an immediate physical twitch response in my body where I now instinctively reach for my phone to see who's messaging me. I've been trained like Pavlov's dog to respond to a chirp from my iPhone. I mean, come on. So silencing my phone, that's one thing. But turning it off and, and actually putting it in a box with the lid on it and leaving the house without it? Oh man, now that is a whole nother level of letting go. Oh man, can you feel me on that? Now for some, placing an entire gaming system or your computer or tablet into a box it would just be too cumbersome, but something symbolic placed in the chill box, like, like a thumb drive or a day planner, can serve as a, as a physical reminder of what we are intentionally leaving behind when we decide to enter in this time of, of summer chill. But you know, this box can, it can also hold things that are a bit more intangible, right? But weigh us down and distract us nonetheless. So maybe it's things we feel that we've left undone that maybe we keep stewing about and, and gets in our head and our heart um, and, and, and removes us out of our own family time or distracts us with, with when we're di at dinner with friends. It, it could be as simple as writing on a small piece of paper a word or phrase that names a particular worry or concern you would like to leave behind for a time being just a short time, and then close the lid, letting it go for just a little while. Maybe this is a practice we do with family and friends before an evening meal together, uh, to let each person write something and, and place it in that soulful, chill box. Uh, maybe we then consider lighting a candle and invite each person to, to share about the things that have been pulling at them, um, to talk about those things maybe that are being left undone, or, or the worries that, that are burdening another uh, person. And as the candle burns, we allow all those cares to, to just melt away. Whatever remains to be done for now, I'll just let it be. It, it, it will not be done tonight, or it will not be done for this hour. Let it go. And once the meal's done, or at some other agreed upon time, you open the box. And in your opening, we're to be mindful of how you feel and respond to what you receive back into your life when you retrieve the items placed aside for this soulful connection. We have life crazies coming at us from all sides and in, and in all the places and spaces in our life. A, a summer chill box can be a place to store the things that add to the distractions and chaos of life for just a brief respite can hold so many things if you think about it, right? It can hold so many things to allow us to let go for a while and just chill with loved ones with no distractions. 
May we create this box of chill and lean into the soulful summer rhythm of letting go. Have an amazing week.